All right, kids, we are back. And I want you to notice, I drew something here. You probably recognize that it's a rectangle. Um, but usually we don't look at the inside of the rectangle, so I want you to check this out. So I drew one, two, three, four inches down, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight across. So it's an eight inch by a four inch rectangle. What do you notice about the inside of it? Check it out. You can write to me in the comments if you see something that I don't say. Um, I would love to hear from you. But on the inside, we've got these diagonal lines and the diagonal lines are equal. You probably noticed that this segment's four inches and then it intersects with the other line um, and then it continues on four inches. So altogether, it's eight inches and eight inches and these bisect each other. So that might be a new word, so bisect. So these lines bisect right here. All right, so that's a rectangle. Um, we're gonna compare a rectangle with another shape, a rhombus. So if you can see here, I have my rectangle definition, four straight sides, four vertices, two squares side by side look like me, so two squares side by side. All right, but we're gonna check out a rhombus and we're gonna think about how to draw it. I have four sides that are the same length. That's the tricky part. And it's not a square, so no cheating and drawing a square. All right, so I'm gonna just draw a rhombus. But I know in a rhombus, there will be um, perpendicular lines. And it's important to remember that perpendicular lines intersect at right angles. So I'm actually gonna use that to help myself. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna go eight down. And I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let me see if I did this right. So I have perpendicular lines and that's how I started off, right? So you know I'm going to be drawing a rhombus, but we're not there yet. Okay, so I know that the sides have to have the same length. So I'm gonna connect them and see if I did it. This always reminds me of like a sand timer. When you first start it out like that, it's kind of like a sand timer, like tilted on its side. All right. See, connect these two. Okay, let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So all of the sides. Were four inches. All right, kids, so you try drawing your rhombus and see if you can make it look less like a square than I did. That's your challenge today.